Welcome home, Bitcoin Truth Seekers. It is Thursday, January 21st, 9.32 a.m. here in the Arizona desert where it's raining. Check out Bitcoin Daily View. Got lots of cool stuff there. Also, some cool interviews did recently that are very inspiring. And a little thing I did about yelling is yelling about Bitcoin FUD. Maybe time to hedge out. Well, the answer is no if you ask me, but not financial advice, but definitely some cool things to check out here. The USD market. So cryptos against USD. Wrecked as F. Wow, except for DOT. Polkadot is kicking ass. Now let's look at uh, the crypto market against BTC. Different story. So something that I'm noticing here. Of course, you may have noticed Bitcoin's dumping a bit today, but alts are they beginning to be a spot where if you're in an alt which is trending upwards doing well is that a place to weather some of these bitcoin dumps um ethereum held up rather well for a while now it's now it isn't the etc you know btc pair but look at like dot still up 11 percent xrp up two percent ada um up 2.5 percent so really if you've just been sitting in dot during this you'd still be up link even holding in there at three percent up so not financial advice, entertainment purposes only. I'm not a financial advisor or a life coach, but with that said, I am starting to hedge a bit of Bitcoin into alls that are performing very, very well with a tight stop with a tight stop loss to make some gains, or you really would say a trailing take profit, um, uh, which can be on three commas. And it's a good strategy because if you're making some gains in the alls, great. And if you have your trailing take profit and you're already in profit, and if it dumps, you're still gonna make money. Um, it might be a place to weather some of the Bitcoin volatility, these dumps that we're seeing. Anyway, just a crazy ass thing I'm doing that I throw it out there. Uh, 8.7, really 8. 8.7 billion or 8.8 .8 billion, if you round it off, in Bitcoin trading volume recently. This much of a dump that we're seeing this morning, that doesn't seem like that much to me. Uh, 4 billion on Binance, Coinbase showing up for work at 1.5 billion. Some people say some of this uh, dumpage is happening basically on Coinbase, OTC, big moves happening. I'll get into that. Uh, blockchain whispers, what is uh, the longs versus short sentiment on Binance where the volume is? Longs 25%, short 74%. So I would say the uh, sentiment is short, but is it still, really? All right, Bitcoin dominance taking another dump today, going down, down, down. Uh, Bitcoin versus gold. How many big, how many gold coins would it take to buy a Bitcoin right now? 17. Traditional market. Okay, uh, S&P 500 opening in with a red candle. Uh, Russell 2000 opening with a red candle. And DXY, dollar strength index, opening with a red candle. I'm noticing this is a pretty substantial dump for market open. So the world's gone to hell real fast. Um, Bitcoin daily, as you can see, that's not inspiring. This is the 21 EMA. On the daily, above it is bearish. Below it, above it is bullish. Below it is bearish. It's a tight moving average against the Bitcoin on the daily. Worth looking at. We have dumped below it. That is definitely a bearish sign. But we're still way above the 200 moving average. But we're rocketing to it. MACD dumping without any remorse at all. Looking at the three day. Three day. Well, last three day bunch of candles. Last bunch of three days or last three day candle was a red. This current candle that we're working on for the three day, which started on the 19th, so 19th, 20th, 21st, it ends today. That'd be two red, uh, green, that'd be two red three day candles in a row. Definitely bearish. Moving towards that uh, 21 EMA, right? 21 EMA moving towards it. Uh, MACD definitely, I would say it's not negative cross yet, but it's trending negative without a doubt. So let's look at this. This is a weekly chart. I think it tells a story. Um, we had a beautiful uh, uptrend on the weekly for quite a while. It was kind of a sideways upwards trend. Then we had this really this super rocket ship to Pluto trend going up, hit an all-time high. Now we're turning around from that. It's great. It gives the uh, Fibonacci sequence there a bit of meaning. Um, if you look, I put this little green line right here. The the previous week's uh, low, wicked low, was right at about 30k. And so as you can see, we have uh, crossed the 236 FIB at uh, 32,900 or so, or below that. And so really the next FIB down would be at you know 27,000. That is quite a dump, but a place where I, I do see uh, support, a place I'm looking for a bounce or some resistance to this dump would be right around 30K because that is the wick low of the previous weekly candle. And we are getting close to the end of this weekly candle. 
let's look at the two hour chart which has been pretty rocking starting a fib sequence when we crossed the 200 moving average and created a very powerful uptrend to the all time high you can see this basically this pattern here this wedge which everyone loves wedges these days they're in style kind of like head and shoulders everybody sees a wedge everyone sees head and shoulders um, but we've definitely broken below that wedge. We've definitely broken below the support line here. It's not a fib, but I definitely saw a lot of buy sell volume there and the previous support resistance in, the, resistance in the chart right at around 34, 35K, but we've dropped below that. We took a brief bounce, a, not a bounce, but a brief pause here at uh, the dot 3A2 uh, fib line, which is 33,000 basically, and now we're trending down below that. So this two hour chart has really, really been very accurate for me uh, in, uh, charting Bitcoin's movement here, where it's where it's at in in, a, in this Fibonacci sequence of recent low to recent high, um, we are heading towards the dot five here, which is right at about 30k. So if I look at the weekly, like I say, uh, the last week we did have a weekly wick to 30k, and now if we look at this two-hour chart, um, we do have a fib line right there on 30k. Not a lot of buy sell volume was there. Um, so we shall see, but if you notice, we are kind of creating, we do have, if I extend this here, between the fib lines, let me actually clone this one, pull it down, you can see we actually do have previous support and resistance in the chart, and a bit of buy sell volume, right here where we're at, and we seem to be bouncing, so we shall see, we're either going to start turning around here, which we are doing, or we're going to visit that dot five, which would be right around 30k, and we'll see if we bounce there. That would week pre that would match previous weekly wick. Boom! There you go. Now for a shorter time frame, the 45 minutes, we are bouncing in this little wedge pattern here. This fib sequence is top down, basically from all-time high to the lowest dump we had recently. We're approaching that lowest dump once again. We are pretty much free falling here. I can't tell you much, but there are nice volume spikes, and right now we are starting to hesitate at one. So we shall see. I'm looking at 30k really, uh, I was asleep, I kind of didn't catch this dump as it started, so I didn't short it, but what I can say is, not financial advice, I'm just going to chill. If we see support and some and an upward movement, that's why I'm going to take that glorious like 5x short on, Bit, no, 5x long on Bitcoin and ride it back up. I do have a lot of confidence in Bitcoin, obviously, and I think this is just a healthy, natural thing. Lots of good news, lots of FUD news, and let's move into that. As far as the FUD news, you can go to Bitcoin Daily View, check out the yelling about yelling thing, or yelling, yelling about Bitcoin. It's the same old crap the old administration played. It's the new administration just saying that they're going to, you know, hey, globalists, we're with you, whatever. Um, I don't think her statements mean much, but it definitely did seem to affect the market, possibly. Um, Ethereum uh, versus, yes, Ethereum versus Bit, uh, Ethereum versus Tether up top, Ethereum versus BTC at the bottom. Ethereum versus Tether, you can see dump, 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 but not so much against Bitcoin. So, you know, having that long Ethereum, uh, you know, uh, Ethereum bought with Bitcoin, ETH BTC, hey, maybe not a bad place to be. You may have fared better if you had a, a hedge into that. Um, but right now, you know, Bitcoin's continued its dump and it's beginning to crush the Ethereum BTC pair also. Polka dot, dot, a badass little project on the uh, versus USDT right now, not doing too bad against BTC, doing really, really well. Hey, it could have been a place to hang out and avoid some of this dump. If you had your trailing take profit in, boom, you know, if it dumps too much, you sell, get back in Bitcoin, dump with the rest of us, or maybe, you know, lose a good deal less or make some money in DOT. All right, ADA, ADA. Uh, it's a 45 minute chart. It broke through the 200 moving average. It's now trying to bounce on the 314. We shall see if it will. I think that's kind of what uh, Ethereum is doing really on the uh, dollar, against the dollar. It's kind of trying to bounce with that uh, three, uh, 314 moving average. But look at it, you know, on against BTC, it's doing really well this morning. We're getting a dump because the pressure is just too much from Bitcoin dumping. All right. Uh, once again, ADA, dollar off against the dollar, like I said, bouncing off the 314, trying to. It's basically sideways against big, big against Bitcoin. Not a bad place to be, possibly. I'm kind of noticing that. Maybe some of these strong perform performing alts are a place to weather some of these Bitcoin dumps, as long as you can get in with a good feeling take profit or a static uh, stop loss in profit. You're, you're good to go. Uh, Uniswap, everybody loves it. Against the dollar, very, very sideways, but healthy above the two moving average. And look at that, actually beginning to uptrend uh, on the 45 minute chart here against this morning's Bitcoin dump. So this Bitcoin pairing is doing really well, starting to weaken because Bitcoin just relentlessly won't stop dumping, but this chart looks good. Hey, you know, uh, you could, I mean, it's not a bad play right there. 
uh, link sucks ass just just dumping with Bitcoin uh, I'll go uh, dumping uh, but eh, it's something not really strong this morning uh, YFI interesting uh, interesting uh, DeFi coin against the dollar dumping like crazy against BTC not doing too well either this morning with that said this is Bitcoin daily view and here is some news okay um, with the new Biden administration uh, this basically all this gibberish it goes on for pages and pages and pages somewhere in here it does say somebody pointed out to me and it does seem to be confirmed that they're going to uh, uh, Munchen's plan to uh, regulate off-chain wallets but I should say cold wallets cold storage um, seems to be at least on hold that's good positive news maybe we can just get past that nonsense if you got a Trezor or a uh, ledger etc or any wallet that is not on exchange well may, you know now you don't have to do KYC to basically move money on or off or exchange at least you know from that wallet at least for now so that's kind of a good thing BlackRock gives two funds go ahead to invest in Bitcoin futures so as we know Goldman Sachs recently had a leak supposedly that they're going to get into custody or their uh, of Bitcoin of crypto uh, for their clients um, that was you know, allegedly, I'm just saying, um, you know, for, for, for uh, entertainment purposes only, I don't think that was a leak. I think it was a strategic leak. And just like BlackRock is now saying that they're going to get into futures and Goldman Sachs, it has been, you know, rumored or leaked that they may be getting into futures. Come on, people. You know, dang well, they have been OTC buying before these leaks and before these announcements. I mean, look at this guy. I mean, he's an old, you know, he's, he's, he's old school, man. I mean, he's... This man ain't lost money for a long damn time, and he, and he is not on this either. So we're dumping the 30K maybe. That's where I see a turnaround, and that very well could be, hey, uh, could that be manipulation of OTC of the by the OTC market? You could say buying crap tons of Bitcoin because look at this. Bitcoin liquid supply. Um, right now, Bitcoin is moving off exchanges. The amount that's free to buy on exchanges is going down as the price goes up. Well, these big ass players like Goldman Sachs and Goldman Golden Sack, <laughs> Goldman Sachs and BlackRock, they don't play to lose. I think that this is manipulation. They're pushing this down. They've already been buying, but basically they're pushing this down because they want the weak hands to sell. They want your Bitcoin, by golly. They do. They need it cuz it's not there on the exchanges to buy. And you can make a point of this. Uh uh, data says only 22% of Bitcoin supply left in circulation as BTC rallies. As the BTC rally is far from done. So look at this. For Glassnode, this process has now been quantified. Number crunching from Rafael uh, Schultzcroft, the firm's chief technology officer, estimates that of the extent Bitcoin supply of 18.6 million, uh, only 78% is. Uh, I should say 78% is unavailable. Only 4.2 million of Bitcoin, about 20% are currently in constant circulation and available for buying and selling. As I have heard, this is, this article is a few days old, I do believe. Oh yeah, it's January 6th. I think we've actually, uh, don't quote me on this, but I think we've shaved like a million off this. I think we're, we're much lower than this availability. So when you see dumps like this and you see big mega players who now are saying, hey, we're getting in the game, Look at that. I mean, uh, this is basically the supply that's going off off of exchanges. Who do you think's got that? Well, you and I possibly, but also these guys. They play to win. I think this this dump up to 30k, which might be a logical spot for a bounce. We'll see if it goes past that. I'm waiting for a confirmed uptrend to do a nice long with some leverage. But look at that. This is powerful, powerful stuff. We are seeing a liquidity crisis. I do believe it's happening. These guys know they're creating this fud to shake off the weak hands. I believe it. I just do. Okay, that's the way I see things. Uh, another uh, article here from Glassnode, which are some pretty smart characters. 78% of Bitcoin supply is not liquid. And right now, this is a couple days old. I believe this was from December 29th of 2020. It's even less than that. Than, than that is liquid. Sorry, I'm talking fast. I got to run. Got to go buy some prepper supplies because the world's coming to an end. But Bitcoin isn't. With that said... Welcome home, Bitcoin True Seekers. I am glad you're here for the peaceful revolution. It matters. I am glad you're here. Chill. This dump is friggin' prophecy, all right? And it's a beautiful thing. I hope we'll see a, a bounce off 30K. Wait for that confirmed uptrend before you get back in if you're a longer with leverage. With that said, take care. All about the peaceful revolution.